State of the Union or State of the Markets or the Bitcoin crush? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard. It's Bubba's Daily Update, and here we are in a market that was getting slaughtered and is made a late-day comeback, but still <laughs> got hammered pretty good. And again, we're now seeing back-to-back -back days of some heavy selling. And at one time today, we were down, you know, well over one percent. And you know, markets are are looking pretty ugly, as the Bitcoin is also looking pretty ugly right now. Uh, we've got the uh, State of the Union tonight. Uh, I don't think that uh, Trump was, is going to say anything that's going to really matter to the overall markets. I think it'll be the usual rah-rah speech with a little bit of a shot at the Democrats a little bit. But overall, the markets are under heavy pressure once again. And of course, this does indicate that we do believe that a market top is in, in probably in place here. We'll see how the next rally looks before we, we make an official, uh, an, an official ruling. But at the end of the day, we are looking in trouble. Now, of course, uh, Amazon knows no troubles in the markets. It continues to go up at leaps and bounds. And that's really more of a warning sign than anything else. When you watch a stock that defies all logic, that is an issue. Now, some of the stocks that are not defying all, all, all logic are McDonald's. McDonald's had great earnings, beat all the way across, yet it was down on the day. Caterpillar continues to get hammered after its great earnings. And that is telling you that the markets have actually priced in all of the good news and that there isn't much more that can come out to make the news better. And that is something that we have to focus on as traders and, and as investors as to how the markets start to react to news. That's really the bigger story. Tomorrow we've got the Fed and of course the bonds once again got clobbered. They're, they're trying to keep their foot on the gas on the dollar and I think that's going to fail as well. Rates are at four year highs now and of course I think going higher. I don't think you're going to see much change there. Uh, Bitcoin was under a lot of pressure again and back below the 10,000 level. Now it's still in this pretty wide congestion band, so it, it's not anything to really get totally crazy about right now, but it is something to look at. But really you've got oil down, you had gold down, you've got the dollar down, not the right relationship. Grains, nice move as, as we talked about for the last couple of weeks, they'd make a nice pop and, and here it is, a nice little pop. The meats are a little bit mixed. Uh, fat cattle down about a buck, feeders up about a half a buck, hogs were down, came back to a little bit unchanged, a little bit positive. But we really have what we would say here is a mess. And we have a market that is dying to go lower. And of course, we'll see what the Fed says. We'll see what the jobs look like. But you can now see that the outstanding news is no longer driving markets forward. So the rest of the week is a lot of big info and a lot of things that will create potential some action in these markets. But we are getting plenty of volatility, and, and my one concern is the VIX popped a little bit too much, and we'll probably sell off. We'll probably see a little bit of a rally, but at the end of the day, I, I think what we've got here is a market that is ready to start to turn over and start to trend the other way. We're not ready to make an official call here, but these are the things that you're starting to see now as, as a lot of commodities start to give up the ghost, some continue to start to rally, and the overall equities are under pressure. And then you tie into that interest rates that are going higher. And once the, once the Fed gets their foot off the dollar gas and that starts to go higher, my God, that'll, that might be the overall black swan. But we're going to continue to keep a careful watch here. We've got a lot of big earnings coming out in the next couple of days. That will tell the story. The Fed will tell the story. And I'm telling you the story. So let's see what goes on. Let's not get too aggressive yet. And certainly we don't want to sell into the hole. This is Bubba's Daily Update. Make sure you check out highschoolinvesting.com. Help us out a little bit. If you do, we're going to offer you uh, a free one-week trial of my advisory. No credit card, nothing. Just if you sign up and you go to patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading and make a donation, you'll get one free week of the advisory. And don't forget to listen to the Bubba Show every day at libertytalk.fm, 4 to 5 Eastern Time. That'll do it for today's Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you back here tomorrow right after the Fed. Bubba's Daily Update. Have a great day. Thank you so much. We'll see you later.